people need to realize that racist is not who a person is, it's what a person is being in any given moment. In those moments, they have the ability to be aware of what they just said or did or didn't do and change. And in the very next moment, be anti-racist. Books certainly changed the way you know, people think. The role of books like mine, like many other books on racism and anti-racism and even black life, what people can do, they can become aware, they can become clear that the problem is not people. They can learn about the complexities of, of different folks and, and see themselves in that difference. And ultimately, they could realize that, that the problem is actually policies, that the, that the problem is actually power. The book can almost be like a springboard for them into action. In June of this year, we had demonstrators in the smallest of towns and the largest of cities demonstrating against police brutality, the largest anti-racist demonstration in American history, galvanized by the murder of George Floyd and, and, and Breonna Taylor. This growing awareness must be followed by a growing willingness to transform our societies. I've been inspired by the willingness of, of demonstrators to think big. We have a, an ability as human beings to eliminate social problems. And we have the capability right now to create some semblance of joy for every human being living. In order to bring about change, you have to believe change is possible.